good afternoon and welcome to another Coaster Crazy Vlog here on YouTube. Right, you can see we're in a car. It's not my car, it's these guys' cars. Hey, we're on another cred run and we're actually on our way to Greenwood Park, isn't it? And it's very interesting is this place. I just wanted to start off getting a bit of footage around here because we're in North Wales. We're about, what, we were 19 minutes away from the park. It's absolutely beautiful around here. We've just gone past Lund Landudno. You've got the sea just over here. We've got in another tunnel cred. We've been through four already. We've got all the quarry and stuff up there. It's amazing. Oh, yeah, watch the car. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we're off to Greenwood Park. We actually emailed the park as well because you're not supposed to go in without children. There's a credit, there's a coaster credit, and it's very special. It's basically the world's only people powered coaster, um, which you'll see when we get there. I won't do a huge vlog on the place, but I think it deserves its own video just for this coaster. I hope you can see me by the way, because it's gone very dark now. Um, basically, you start off at the top of this hill and you get this carriage, and the gravity pulls the carriage down to the bottom, and then which then pulls the train up to the top. It looks really good, it's made by WGH and Mountaineering or something like that. I forget the name, I'll, I'll look into it when we get there. In the WGH Transportation. Tran transportation, yeah. They've done quite a few, Rhombus Rocket, Jellykins. Jellykins! Jellykins, you got the cred. And they've done the uh, couple at Legoland as well. And one, one of these ones is this one. So yeah, I drove up to where mine and Charlotte live, took about three hours and then, what, an hour and a half to this place. So it's not too bad. So yeah, uh, beautiful yeah. views, really nice. So I just thought we'd get a bit of footage on our way there and then sort of working our way back. We'll be going to uh, Thai Prince, Thai Tier Prince, 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 Prince Nightly's, and Nightly's. And where? Barmouth. Barmouth? Yeah, Barmouth. Doing, doing that as well? Barmouth. See, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a mysterious man, is Martin. He never tells me nothing. He just says, right, what are you doing this weekend? I'm like, nothing. Right, you're coming with us. We'll do a cred run. Because I thought we were starting a new Brighton, but we're not. Cause, well, because you... Because I was like, late. Useless at I'm useless. I'm useless. I didn't sleep in, I promise. I, I really didn't. <laughs> I you left on time. <laughs> I left on time, yeah, but I took a, a wrong turning somewhere. Ended up going right through. But never mind. We're on our way. So I said 16 minutes away. Got the tunes pumping in here, been eating them. <laughs> what? what? Radio 1? Radio 1, yeah. Radio 1's on. Eating the sweets, get breakfast going, or lunch. Anyway, I'll see you when we get a bit closer. I think this place is in the forest, so there's probably a bit of footage I can film before we get to the park. So yeah, Greenwood today, and then everything else we're doing as well. I'll see you in a bit. I think we're very close. Yes, it looks like there's a car park down here. Uh, is that the entrance or is that the entrance up there? Yeah, oh yeah, green wood. <laughs> yeah, we literally followed the sat nav like you do and um, it's just taken us down some really tight country lanes. We definitely won't be going back that way. But we're here, we're at Greenwood Park. Um, yeah, we don't really know what's going on, but they've uh, obviously let us come to this park just to get this credit and um, yeah, it's something about giving them a donation, so we'll... And I think they'll probably like the fact that they like you to promote the park as well. That's so. what we said in the email, you know, so yeah, so you've got to do it right. Obviously, we couldn't just turn up without kids. doesn't look very busy, but we'll get sorted and we'll get in there. Right, so there's the car park. We've literally walked down this path here. The coaster is up there, I can see it. I could just see the um, the little carriage coming down the hill just here, just through them trees. Very quiet though. There's not many cars in this car park. Very nice, it, really nice. That's the advantage of having a, a small family. You can get to some of these parks that adults can't get to, basically, well, on their own anyway. Very pretty. I have seen some footage online lisa harris a friend of mine she she's been before with her small child and filmed a vlog here they got father's day specials on the ticket booths are here as well here's your prices 14 pound an adult obviously it's in 
Welsh as well and English. Yeah, very nice. I like the logo. I think the logo is great. So yeah, like I said, I don't think it'll be a huge vlog. We're literally just come to do the coaster because there's nothing else really we can do. I'll show you what's on the map. There's quite a few attractions here from what I can gather. Um, yeah, you get maps and stuff. There's a big map over there. Uh, there's like a water shoe and all sorts of things. There's actually a boat ride uh, that's people powered. You pull like a rope across above your head and you have a paddle as well. Right, we'll uh, sort out when we get in. Right, there you go. That was nice and easy. Just met a nice guy in there just giving us some visitor passes and we've just given a small donation as well gave them a tenner uh, or ten pound put them in the it's, it's a little charity they have i'll show you the quick map he basically said that we've only got access to the coaster um but there's no real there's no pictures on it but it, yeah you've got the roller coaster up here we're obviously we're here so we'll walk around to that there's quite a few attractions most of it is for children you've got a barefoot walk thing here uh, dragon maze, there's a, the moon carts, there's a lot of stuff here. Oh. Right, sorry I cut you short a bit then. The guy that brought us into the park just quickly run over and goes, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. The uh, coast is on a timetable. So yeah, we've got to have to wait an hour and 10 minutes until the, we can get on the coast. Been spited, spited. Oh, but we'll get on it. We'll, yeah, we've got to wait ages. It just, did just come out and say we can walk around the rest of the place and have a look and see what's here. Here's all your signs for everything that's here as well. I think we might actually get something to eat because it is um, 20 to 1 now. Just sort of delays on what we can do today. Like we're saying, we've already planned to do like three other, four other places today, aren't we? So, yeah. Depends what we can get in, but at least we're getting this one. This is good to get anyway. Yeah, you're looking place. forward to it though. Unique, innit? Yes. Unique. And then America tomorrow. Oh, shut up. <laughs> They're off to America, a big trip like everyone else is. <laughs> yeah, well, ours was planned like way before most people. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the thing, innit? You know, when somebody <laughs> does like an announcement video and then you realise everyone's going as well, so. Yeah, anyway, we'll go and have a look and see what uh, we can get to eat. No, let's not do that. Who's this? Everyone else can Loser. Waiting for me food. <laughs> We've got Snowden viewpoint. Nice that. <laughs> nice that was Chuck. <clears throat> right, so we just had something to it. Had a baked potato with tuna. It was very nice. Right over here, you've got a craft area. This guy over here has made his own crafts. So yeah, basically we'll just show you around what certain things we can film and things we can go on. I'll show you these, these are really cool. Like name badges and things. That one there. I know someone who'd like that one. Yeah, they're very nice. It's a lovely park. Obviously all in the trees. There's uh, quite a few attractions. There's the slides and things as well. Woodland Rovers, oh, is it here? Oh, it's a tiny little thing. I thought it was, oh, yeah, like a little car ride. Yeah, we can't go on that, unfortunately. Woodland Rovers. You've got the magic chair as well, which is some sort of an optical illusion, I think it is. I think that's just over there. Uh, barefoot trail, giant jumper we've told we can't go on that. Moon carts there, a little go-kart type attraction. Again, we probably can't go on most of the stuff that's here, but it's nice to come and show you what's here because I thought we would literally just come in and get in on the coaster. So a little bit more for you, really. A bit more for us as well because we actually, when we came in, the guy did say that we could literally just do the coaster and that was about it. when he told us it was closed, he said we can go on anything but that. Apart from the jumper, yeah. It's very quiet though, isn't it? For a Saturday. Oh, you got your budgies in there. Cage full of budgies and different types of birds and things. 
Yeah, there's the jumper over there. It's just one of them in giant inflatable pillows. So we're not, can't go on that. Not allowed. This whole area is for that. And there's some more things over there. Moon carts over at the back there. Oh, here's your Enchanted River ride. Do you want to do the Enchanted River ride? Yeah, I think we should. This is again a very unique ride. Is this? These two don't know anything about this, but I watched, like I said, Lisa Harris, um, a friend of mine. She does videos and vlogs, and they came. I think it was last year. I, I, I watched the vlog the other day when I was researching this place, and uh, it's what it looks like. It's walk on as well. It is. <laughs> it's walk on. Basically, you get a paddle, and you pull yourself along on a rope. Because everything in this park is all self-sufficient. There's not really anything that's run off electricity. It's beautiful, all this. It's a shame it's just only children, only park. Really nice. Look at this. So it literally just goes around in a in a circle, and you pull your ropes. You should see the uh, staff as well are all speaking in Welsh. Never heard that before. Even going to Cardiff and places, just get a nice picture of the boats there. Do you want me to row? Yeah, you row. So you get grab a paddle. Are you pulling the ropes. I'll I'll be a rope puller. I'll be a rope puller. If I can get in. <laughs> I'll be a rope puller. Right, we're in. Sit. Oh. Wetter than Valhalla. Okay, thank oh, you. That's it. Then we've got to get wet on this. Right, don't rock the boat, baby. <laughs> I need to do both sides. I think you need to do the back. Uh, no, I'm good. No, that's it. You just pull yourself. Yeah, on pull it. That's it. And just pull yourself on the and hit Charlotte in the back. Navi River ride, move over, eh? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, this is way better than that. At least this one's got to take about half an hour. There you go. Yeah. Pull the rope. This is awesome. This is so unique. You do the paddling. You stop, pull you stop pulling. Why? Because I said, no, because we're, we're just dragging along the side, aren't okay. we? Yeah? This is what I mean. I need to get this side, you see. Ah, <laughs> get off me. You're dripping on me. <laughs> dripping, Martin. Do I need to splash you? No. Wetter than Valhalla. Should I stand on the front? <laughs> and sink to us, you can go on the back. <laughs> Just one connecto. Give it to me. At? I'm trying to think of how I can do this evenly. Well, they're not doing that well, are they? Over there. Side. We're just going to the side constantly. That's it. Just pull it. Use your hand. Get your hand in the air. That's it. That's it. Here we go. Here we go. Stack in a minute. Boat stack. We've got a crash. Oh no. Oh no, we've got a crash. Bump. Oh, that's it. Get evacuated. Right, I'll see you when we get a bit closer. 20 minutes later, we're still going. Just push yourself along. Yeah, there's all sorts of things to see in the forest as well. Yeah, took pictures Some of Some fairies in the houses. little pixies and little fairies. Yeah. Martin's splashing away. <laughs> oh, this is we're useless at this. We're just going side to side it here, Martin. Help we've only been given one or. <laughs> I think you only get the one. The idea is to sit on here for an hour and pull yourself along somehow. Like what the she's doing there. You got the slides up there. I want to go canoeing now. <laughs> we got to learn. Great I tell you what, it's nice to see some blue oh, skies for a change. Oh. A whole horrible rain we've had all week. Here we go. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on. We can't go we've got a coaster to get on. Well, there you go. What a very unique ride to have a boat that you pull yourself along. We've just got off our boat there. We just noticed the family just got on with a dog. <laughs> dogs on rides. Not just dogs on park. Dogs on ride. <laughs> That's a new one for me. 
Right, we'll have another walk around, show you what else is here. I don't think there's much we can go on really. You've got the dinghy slides. How long? 25 minutes. 25 minutes. Is there? I bet there is. 10 hours. 10 hours. That is ridiculous. People that don't know, um, they've just opened Hagrid's magical motorbikes, magical creatures, or whatever it's called. Uh, Islands of Adventure and um, yeah 10 hour wait for it that's crazy there's no way uh, would you? no no the way the longest I've waited for a coaster is big one four hours was it? when it opened when it opened? wow perfect thing no thank you only a teenager so you just mess around yeah ice cold water so there's the barefoot trail no thanks yeah uh, basically you walk through water and then you walk on like gravel, sand, paving stones, bricks. Yeah, if you do want to see some more of this park, I might, I might actually do her a favour. I've never really plugged the channel before, but I'll stick Lisa Harris's video in the link. If you want to see a bit more of this place and a bit more lively with her uh, little Rebecca as well. And I'll do a do a little little favour for her there. She needs the support. Here's your moon cats. Yeah, I don't think we can do that either. No, you like this, my legs. Like like yeah, we can't do that. that. I know we can't do that. No, we can't. So where are we heading now, Martin? We're going to You're the horror the... maze. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, into in drop tower. Yeah, it's free fall. One. Yeah, B and M wing coaster. Yeah, there's a dive machine up here. No, seriously, on a serious this, note. I think is an El Toro park. <laughs> it's not El Toro. It's not El Toro. <laughs> but yeah, I know. But on a serious note, it's so nice to come to somewhere like this. I've never been to anywhere like this before, which is a natural beauty, really. It's in the forest, so you can just see the barefoot walk thingy just down here. Yeah. <laughs> no thanks. Yeah, not for me. I hurt my feet just walking on carpet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dragon Maze. Oh, this looks quite cool. Dragon Maze, but we're walking. We're walking. We can see where you're going. Yeah, but we're, we're walking further away from the coaster now. No, we're going round. Oh, we're going around in a circle. Yeah. All right. Follow that guy. Oh, oh, I'm knackered. No, I've just walked up some stairs and things to get up here. But this is one of the attractions here. From what I can see, it's absolutely breathtaking. Literally. <laughs> it's basically the Snowden view. Now, I know some people have said that uh, colmarden has got spectacular views from that park, but... It'll be hard to beat that. Well, Martin has got spectacular views. Yeah. It's cool to get that photo. That wow. Little, you got all that view, then you got a little dinghy slide. So that's snowed in there in the middle, isn't it? Mummy. Up here, which we'll be driving through it in a bit after we've been here, or after we've been to the next place. Look at my picture. That's cool. Mm. The clouds. That's pretty good. Yeah. Unfortunately, with GoPros, you can't zoom in, but you got the water dinghy slides there. A couple more slides down here. You've got like the uh, information telling you what the what the mountains are, but that's that's pretty amazing that. Right, you gotta say they were spectacular views of Snowden back there. Right, it's just come down the hill again, uh, thank God. And um, you got the theatre here as well. They've just had a show before we could hear the uh, kids screaming and the, the actor or whatever 
probably got some sort of microphone right as i'm walking around here you also got the slides just here as well there's two little slides well there's one big one and one little slide you get you some footage of this great there's a whole family day out this they've got the people who got the dogs with them um it's, it's brilliant it's a really nice place i highly recommend coming here if you've got children so this is the main one so you got a little sledge and you come down it's on like a material slide really not seen one like that before you got a little one there for the kids so you got the little green run and the great green run is the other one a bit of information about the park so yeah looking on there greenwood forest park opened in 1993 just pushed my glasses back up <laughs> and it's only got the one coaster which is green dragon it opened in 2004 which is the steel one like i said at the beginning of this vlog um it's the world's only uh, people powered coaster and it's just here it's not opened yet so we can't really get any off-ride footage of it just yet yeah looking forward to getting on it really so you gotta basically walk up the hill get on the uh gravity coach or whatever they call it that brings you down and then it pulls the train up to the top here's a good little photo for you oh, yeah. cred <laughs> i'll stick your head through there <laughs> cred cred there's a box on this side a box and a... oh yeah fox and a two squirrel no both foxes no look that's got little cheeks oh, that's foxy yeah. fox and a squirrel it's got a little nut so in it hand. is indeed love the uh logo for it as well they were just telling us in the shop that's a, it's a new logo actually they redesigned the whole thing so yeah walk around and uh i'll see you at the top cred, cred. Yeah. Oh, here we are. Right, there's a the station for the train. Here's your little vehicle, your gravity thing. And it goes down there, pulls the train up to the top. You get off again, walk up another hill, get on the train. Stand near the door so we can get the front row POVs. <laughs> there you go there's the train so when the people get in here they release the brake yeah not getting on the front now are we I don't think it matters really and and then we go down see the stairs on the side there we get off and we got to walk around up to the top again Quite full up in here. So we had to wait quite a bit, five minutes extra. Like I said, it was staggered times for this. So he's down there, there's a guy here, guy down here, there's one that's coming here with us. Oh. Hold on tight, there we go. And then the train getting pulled up the other side. How unique is that, Martin? And we didn't have to walk all the way back up again. No. How good was that? Amazing. So unique. No, it's, it, like I said, it's the only one of this type of. Yeah. Yeah, funicular. The only one of its type in the world. I think we might only get, be able to get the one ride because we need to go to get to the next park on our little. Welsh road trip. There we go. We have to wait for some. Oh, he's in here with us, isn't he? Right. I'll see you when we get to the train. Right. There you go. We're walking back up here. Yeah, it works on gravity basically. Because now that's empty. That's light, lighter than 
what the uh, transfer track is of the train. So that's coming down on its own. The train is left at the top. Oh, oh mate. Oh, it's a long walk though. Right, here we go. Sorry, they're all waiting for me. Managed to get the front. Cheers, mate. Thank you. We all ready? Yay! Right, here we go. Here we go. World's only people powered coaster here in North Wales. Woo! Hey, it's really good. Helix. That's awesome. Alright guys, stay seated until it's completely stopped. That bar's up. That's brilliant that. Really smooth as well actually. Quite a well, very unique coaster that. Only one in the world. Brilliant. Right, there you go. Dragon coaster. That was really good. Um, like I said, we are going on this little trip around North Wales to get these creds. I was gonna stay and get a bit of off-ride shot, but because they've now got to get off and walk all the way to the top before they even send it, I don't think I'll get time to get some off-ride shots for you. It looked nice coming through the trees just around here, but as a ride, I loved it. I thought it was really good. Probably the most unique coaster in the whole of the UK, isn't it? I think. Green Dragon roller coaster. What did you think to that? It was really good. I like how it was right to the terrain as well. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> better than blue fire better than blue fire blue fire, blue fire. <laughs> no it was no it was really good actually like i said the company that's built this also done dragon's apprentice and the dragon at legoland in windsor they also done rhombus rocket and jellykins at fantasy island as well they also done a couple of little smaller things but a company that own them now that uh that used that used to build these uh, i think they're doing like dark rides or something now well, no, that's it. That's a vlog from uh, Greenwood Forest here in Wales. I said it was going to be a short one. There was literally nothing else we could go on. Maybe the water shoot or something like that. Um, we went on the River Adventure. Oh, yeah, we went on the little boat ride as well. Um, yeah, I can't stress enough. If you are sort of planning a nice little day out with your family, I'd certainly recommend this place a lot. It's, it's really nice. It's got some really nice charm to it. It's really well kept. It's nice and tidy, it's clean, it's everything you want really, and the coaster is fantastic. I actually really enjoyed that. It was just a very small kids' coaster, basically, family coaster. But you got to get the credits. I really enjoyed that. Let's see what merch is in here. I have to give the uh, visitors pass back now. Oh, thank you very much. No Cheers. Got the merch shop in here as well. Looks really nice, little fairies and things. Oh, your lights. Bless you, again. I don't think there's any park merch, is there? Bless you again. Hmm? Coins. Oh. No, that's it. Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain. And there's the exit. Oh, right, we're off to the next place. What's it called, Martin? Barmouth. Barmouth is where we're going. This is where we're at, and this is where we're leaving. Ooh, fudge. Ooh, fudge. <laughs> I hear that. Ooh, fudge. Ooh. Like me fudge. 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 Right, I've got to finish the vlog now so I can get a um, picture of that entrance. But no, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Very short and sweet. Basically, I've come for the credit. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Follow the Facebook page, Coaster Crazy. Follow the Instagram page as well, Costa Crazy Andy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.